try to give you a, a movie of a conversion kit I bought from U.S. Carburation the other day for an alternative gas source. I'm going to convert my uh, generator, which is a rigid 8000, uh, bought from Home Depot. Um, and I'm going to convert that or make it able to run on natural gas and propane. Uh, I'm going to do propane uh, um, for myself right now. It was just an easier route rather than natural gas turned into a little bit of an expensive proposition. But we'll see later down the road. This is your um, regulator that would hook on to this somewhere on the frame. I, there's two mounting bolts here and underneath here. This is what I chose for the best way for this frame. Uh, when you start this, you've got to realize once it's on, you have to be able to hit this primer button as well as put the box back on because when you put the converter uh, on the carburetor, it sticks out a little bit more. Some people have bars going down here. So what I did was I drilled through the frame and it seems to do a good job. And then we'll put this one on. We got a lock washer on there. Not exactly sure if it's great to have it like hard mounted or rubber for vibration. And away we go. I gotta twist them evenly. Tight. I'll have to tighten them up in a little bit. It's pretty good right now for the demonstration. This would be your input um, from your uh, source. You either be natural gas or your propane. This is your uh, input. It will go up from here into the carburetor or into the conversion kit. Grab this air filter. Take the air filter off. Off, and as you can see, I have two nuts in here. Now, there are grooves, and that's where the fuel comes in. Uh, this is your import. So the best I, uh, this is your airflow. This way, so airflow goes to the carburetor, and it goes down. So we'll put it in like this. I'm going to put the new gasket they gave on here. Although they tell you to use this to the air filter, being that that one ripped, I'm going to use the good one to the carburetor and then put this on. So if it's, they say, snuggly, then you might have to adjust this a little bit as to when you put it on. But as you can see, it doesn't fit with the existing carburetor bolts. So they give you extensions extension bolts, which will slip right on there. I'm going to move this around. I don't know if you can see. They tell you always leave your butterfly open when you're doing this uh, for the for this. Then come over here. And that looks pretty snug. So that's that part of it. So we have that on. This is your smooth side with your slits in there facing out. Butterfly is open. Make sure it can still open, which it can, and we're good to go on that one. Um, what I would probably say, actually, is to put your fuel line uh, before you put this on. To put your fuel line on here because it is incredibly uh, difficult to get this on here. So I am going to do that. That was incredibly difficult to get that on there. What I found out that um, hopefully this is tight enough uh, that this hose to put onto this fuel system is incredibly difficult. Once you have it on there, it's obviously on, as you can see by my hands. Um, but you got to figure out what's the tightest, because really the tightest was facing this way, which you know wouldn't have worked for me. So uh, hopefully this is tight enough that I can work with that. Like I said, I ripped this a little bit, so I'm just going to put a little touch of this around, around here. That's good. Put this on 
here. And they tell you over here that your fuel, your, um, your, uh, air intake doesn't fit. So you have to snip that and put a little sleeve in there. I was going to buy another one, but it was just not another pain in the neck. So if you take it out, snip it in half. Sleeve in. The, uh, this is a, the uh, converter. Now, let's see if it works. gas there's actual gas in the in the tank right now so I have the fuel shut off I'm gonna turn this put this on to here now this is actually a quick holdout uh, the other thing too is this is a barbecue a uh, 10 a number 20 I believe or number 10 it's a barbecue propane they said in colder weather uh, this is a 13 horsepower engine. In colder weather, it would eventually freeze up. They suggest you getting either a 40 or a 100. A 100 pound propane tank is pretty, it's about four feet, but it can cost you about 250 bucks. So um, that's a decision you kind of have to make whether or not to do. Now, uh, simply turn that on. always obviously check for leaks uh, with soapy water not a match like that turn it on prime it for a second or two you'll hear it come in and then pull the cord hopefully it works I'm not too sure about the choke store 
of it out so now there's no fuel in the carburetor and then you can go back to propane. That's about it.